Hello everybody and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2 in our Jurassic World save file, but not the same one as you remember because if we just if you just look straight away you can tell it's quite a bit different because we are finally on the PS5, no longer confined to the limitations that we had on the PS4. And I do want to apologize that last week we, you guys didn't have any content for the weekend. That was because I was working on replaying the entire game and stuff. I had to replay the campaign, challenge modes, chaos theories just to get all the maps and stuff, but I've completed that, and also I was rebuilding this, because there was no point, in my opinion, just playing another episode on my PS4 save if I'm just gonna have to rebuild that also in this. But, if we just look on the map, you can see there are quite a few changes. For one, there's enclosures in different spots, and, like, the layout of them is completely different, which will give a quick refresher course of what's changed. So, like, We'll start with Main Street, which I've actually changed a little bit from, like, you know, the building's colors and stuff. And because I can use Jurassic Park buildings and stuff, I also decided to add the Jurassic Park Large Hotel because there was a similar building to that in on Main Street in the wide shot for the movie. Just not many people actually noticed it. I also brought back the Packy Arena, which I'm going to try and see if the Packies will be okay with it and stuff. That's why you don't see another enclosure here. If they are okay with it, then that'll be good. If not, then I'll probably turn off the comfort needs for a little bit. Or, you know, just I'll have to deal with some angry packies and stuff. But, well, I'm pretty sure they won't be able to break out of the concrete, actually, so I'm pretty sure we'll be good anyway. I'll just have to medicate them and stuff. Oh, oops, uh, thanks for the notification. Horizon Forbidden West is updated. Anyway, where was I? So, yeah, I brought back this because it was my favorite. I made some changes, like I added some of the, um, uh, I don't even remember what these are. They're just, like, some of the scenery items or decorations for the Jurassic Park era. Added some fountains again. Then if we move on to here, we've got the Mosasaurus. Hello. And also, you may notice that I have more stuff in the lagoon because I, I want to bring some concept art to the canon of the franchise because if you didn't know, Jurassic Park, world was originally going to have more than just the most source and even some um expanded lore has referenced there being more because like camp cretaceous states that the most source lagoon is aquatic area one which kind of suggests there could have been more but in concept art there was ichthyosaurus and plesiosaurus in the lagoon so i'm gonna add those they may get eaten they probably all are going to be eaten by the end of the episode if not well lucky those survivors but i i just want to add them because you know variety then if we move on over here this was originally the carnotaurus and a little over here was the dilophosaurus paddock however I have decided to change this. This enclosure right here will be the Carnotaurus enclosure, which I'm pretty sure this is exactly where it was in the my original save, with some changes of course, but this is going to be the Allosaurus enclosure, because if we look over here, I kind of don't have the space needed for it. It's actually a little bit smaller. I could d delete this and get rid of it, but I'm actually gonna probably change things because here's going to be a little guest hub which we'll work on in this episode and over here will actually be another enclosure which this is where the original packy arena was before i added this which was just for like display stuff because it was an awesome enclosure to build but over here i'm thinking i could do like the gallimimus run and stuff so like with a tour truck going through here and it'll sort of extend to here, viewing vent here, and then that'll get guests to come to the hotels and register them. And if we look over here, the petting zoo is pretty much the same, except for um, this, I actually decided to use the um, concrete dividers as a way to make it easier for the guests to view, sort of like a petting zoo. I was going to do the whole thing as it, but I decided against that and decided to just shorten it to this. But, you know, it still works, so like, little kids could actually come and reach over, pet a dinosaur, though I wouldn't recommend it in this game because they're kind of big and can bite your hand off if you got a nice snack for them. But, 
Actually, I've actually made this one a lot smaller than it was, I realized, but it's not the end of the world. They should be fine with it. But you may see the aviary here, which I actually forgot to lower the terrain, though I'm actually glad I forgot because if I had have lowered it to hide, I wouldn't have been able to use it too much space. So I just added trees, and if we look from this view, you can barely see it. All I have to do is add a few more trees and nobody's going to see it. But in front of it, you get what is going to be the new Dilophosaurus exhibit, which is right beside the restricted zone, which I'm counting this like as part of the restricted zone because I don't know if Dilophosaurus actually had its own public enclosure, at least not on the Jurassic World maps. Like, we know Dilophosaurus was there, in fact, but we never actually saw their enclosure. We know they were there and all, but I'm going to count it as part of the restricted zone. Just, I haven't combined it with the restricted zone here, which is this whole part. The only reason I haven't included it is because, well, we saw what the Allosaurus did to um, my poor Brachiosaurus, and, you know, it kind of didn't end well and nearly made me rage quit. So... I'm gonna have the Dilophosaurus here. They'll be, f they should be fine in here. They'll have all their needs met once I release them and also get their feeders in. We've got the T-Rex Kingdom exactly the same as it was. Also, I did put the Spinosaurus skeleton in. I did not forget that. That was literally the first thing I did. I did the layout of the buildings and stuff. And before anything else, before any of the enclosures were made, I was like, all right, Spinosaurus skeleton here. All right, we can continue. But moving on. I think that's actually it. Yeah, there's nothing else. Oh yeah, the aviary, which I have done. I actually don't think I've made anything in the hatchery. No, I have not. I have kind of oopsied on that. And also, I have hatcheries ready with all the dinosaurs that we made in the previous save. There will be no new additions as of yet. Also, I have some here, which I think, what do we have here? Al the aloes, we've got the carnos, and T-Rex which is Rexy, of course, just to be clear. And I think we are ready to continue on. So first things first, I'm going to get all the dinosaurs in. So give me a couple of minutes and I will be right back. And then we will begin building more of Jurassic World, actually, instead of you just learning what I did while I was away. Catch you in a bit. All right, guys, we are back. And <clears throat> oh God, I'm choking on saliva, apparently. Let's try that again. We are back, and as you can see, we have opened, well, we haven't opened the park yet, but we have everything in their enclosures, except for the Carnotaurus. We're just finishing them up. And also, speaking of which, I think we should open the park. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to Jurassic World. So there were some issues, of course, like some of the species were not happy, but for things that went well, the um, Sticky Molochs are the only ones that are a little bit annoyed because unfortunately they need a lot of um, ground leaf, apparently. Like, this isn't even enough for them, but they are okay. They won't break out. They're in the p positive. Pachycephalosaurus, surprisingly, was perfectly happy immediately dropping in. Um, Sinoceratops and Aranosaurus were actually perfectly fine. Well, not Aranosaurus. Apparently, they are missing ground fruit and forest. They need a little bit more of each. Okay, no problem. Okay, just tap it there. And then a little bit of fruit. And there you go. And the Sinoceratops should be okay. Also, I did use the Camp Cretaceous ones. I didn't use them in my original save, but oh my god, they are so tiny now. It's so weird. Then Sino's a little annoyed, needs a little more ground fiber, but he'll be fine. The Dryosaurus and Homalocephalae are okay. Rexy just needed a little bit more sand, which also let's name Rexy. Rexy. And. For the restricted section, it kind of went crazy. I had to get rid of the Mementosaurus, which I will be putting them in an enclosure over here, which we'll do eventually. Dilophosaurus was fine. All we need to do now is add the Pterandons and Dimorphodons, which I'll work on on my own time. All right, what's up with you, Pachycephalosaurus? Your comfort's fine, so... Maybe it's a cold or something, I don't know. But what's going on over here? I heard there was a fight. Shelter coverage is low, like, really low. I don't know why, I've got shelters... Well, actually, I've got shelters, like, nowhere, so never mind. Oh, major fracture. 
how did this happen, my dear? Okay, so we'll send the ACU, go and deal with you. And I think we should get started. How are the contours actually? We should check on them. We don't want them breaking out again. 100%? 110%. How about that? Oh yeah, I didn't put the random on you guys. Oh well. I know one of them's Toro, which that's not the end of the world. Let's grab you though. So you'll be Toro. And don't worry guys, all names, the ones that had names off camera and stuff, except for Rexy, which I did name right. Yeah, it requires status check, but that's fine. Hey, hey, no driving in Main Street, Jesus. Which is really, really empty. Oh, the, the swarms of people, they are all coming. Eventually, they probably just, they probably just needed to check into their hotels, even though there's barely any going over there. There's one lone person who's... Okay, it is a worker. Okay, I was going to say... Oh, yeah. Oh, also, I accidentally deleted this because I forgot that I had the police source in, so I need to remake those, so... Oops. And I think we should start, which I'm going to actually work on the crit... Not the Cretaceous Cruz, the Gyrosphere Valley first. So first, let's add the uh, fancy... No, it's not fancy. Let's go. We'll add... No, no, we want it straight. We want straight paths for this. I had it that way before, we'll have it again. Oh, Dr. Wu, you've got something to s Actually, you know what? I'll turn on commentary. It's not the end of the world. Let's go to settings, audio, just, we'll put it a little quieter. So about 25 should do. Well, I would love to know what you're ta- Oh, it's probably that because they're fighting. Why are they fighting? I have no idea. If it's because there's too many of them, I gotta say, Nasutoceratops, there was a freaking hundred thousand of you guys in the Dominion prologue, and you seem fine. Nobody's got broken bones or anything. Oh yeah, we gotta deal with him. He's kind of asleep. We kind of need to deal with him. Yes, very much so. All right, so we have a paleomedical facility over here. We also have one over here, which this was originally a shelter, which I think I see why that my guests are a little annoyed with shelter coverage, which maybe I should give them a few shelters or two. Let's see. We'll add... Oh, yeah. Uh, just a little bit red. You know what? We can add one here because, like, it's a strip. We'll need to add some trees, hopefully, to cover. Then we'll add... Oh, uh, I, I knew I forgot to put one on here. I was supposed to. Well, we can do one here. Doesn't get in the way. And then, what about over here? Definitely one by the hotels. Not that, not that we'll have any breakouts or anything. Oh, wait, I pressed the wrong button. Restroom sh coverage is low. I don't know how. I've got, like, toilets on every strip of Main Street. Look, we gotta get back to work. Stop distracting me, game. I need to build my damn enclosures, which also, let's lower the terrain, because I remember it being on a little drop. So let's lower you. We'll first lower you, and then we'll flatten, and then we'll smooth it out. Smooth it out towards here, and then we'll have this itty teeny tiny bit here flat and then we'll actually need to flatten this whole part because it'll makes it makes more sense so flatten this up to about about there should be fine I, I really hope the Apatosaurus don't get so cranky and stuff that's the only thing I'm worried about for this because the Triceratops Stegus Oh my god, I can't have Stegosaurus in there. How how did Jurassic World work, really? Like, really, how did they do it? Because, like, you had Stegosaurus and Triceratops together, but this game makes it so that they hate each other with a death wish. Well, oh well, they'll just have to be learn to behave. Alright, how big is that? That gives me enough room? Yeah, that gives me enough room. Whoa, 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 what? Oi. 
What are you doing? Well, because of your attitude, we'll need to name you Coco. And I heard somebody say I'd spell wrong. I know it's spelt with an A, but this is my version of Coco. And did Toro make it in? Yes, Toro did. We'll name this one Toro. Hello. That's no, it starts with T, I'm afraid, not y Yoro. I should. You know what? Just for that, I'm going to name one of these guys Toro. So you will be named Yoro because I made a mistake. Yoro. You're seeing a pattern here. We got Coco, Toro, and Yoro. And the next one will be named Jim. Of course. But, anyway, just wanted to point that out, we got it fixed. And, let's add this all the way around, and then we'll need it to... I'm gonna sort of cheat here, I'm gonna... I need to put a fence, actually, which we'll need to use... Was it Electra? I'm pretty sure it wasn't Electra. Which one's which? That's Jurassic Park, that's Jurassic... This Jurassic World, alright, so... We'll need to, well actually no, we'll smooth, I know how we can make this sort of evened out. We'll smooth this out. We'll actually flatten this up here. We'll make a little ridge or something like right around here. And then bump it up. And then smooth it down. And there you go. When the gyrosphere gets here, it'll have the gate, which, well, not the gate, the broken fence. Gyrosphere route, good. And I think we can get to the hatchery and start making the dinosaurs, which, yes, we will have some stegos in there. Probably not too many. We'll have more trikes in there for this one, because Stegosaurus was also, if I recall, in the Cretaceous Curves, which that enclosure is going to be a pain. I'm going to... I'm not gonna lie, when we get to that episode, I'm gonna turn off combat, guys, because I cannot have Baryonyx, Suchomimus, and Metricanthosaurus in there with Stegosaurus, Parasaurolophus, and Mementiosaurus, and Apatosaurus. That is going to be a death sentence for me, and I don't want to do that. I just can't afford it, guys. It's My mental capacity will not allow that. So first, let's make... How many Stegos can we have in a batch? We can have six. All right, so what kinds? We'll have a mix, actually. Well, we'll definitely take this off. They didn't have any pattern, so blank, and that's the right one. So I'm thinking what we can do is have a mix of um, the um, Jurassic World and also some Lost World ones. You know, just to, maybe we could pretend it's some sort of sexual dimorphism. The Lost World ones are males, and these ones are females or something, you know. Whichever we want to make up. We'll just do that. And we'll definitely modify these ones to be dangerous. Alright, intolerant. Well, we definitely want them to be tolerant of other creatures, so we'll do that. Fit? Well, they weren't really that fast, but we can make them... We'll definitely make them defensive and to a strong. That will definitely make the Stegos good to- Oh, we are almost some five stars already! Mwah. Who needs Indominus Rex Jesus? Alright, so we can have six, so... Hmm, if we're doing a small batch... We'll do... We'll do six of these guys, and then four others, so that'll be ten Stegos in this enclosure. Not a huge amount, but... Uh, that'll at least mitigate the arguments between them and the trikes. All right, so six of you, and then we'll change the other four to be of the lost world kind. And then we'll need, well, we'll need a lot of apatosaurus, actually. Good God, when you think about it, yeah. Because how many apatosaurus were there? Like, the Indominus Rex killed, like, eight, I think. So... Ugh, that's gonna we're gonna have more apatosaurus than like probably trikes or something which we'll make the trikes first those guys are the quick ones and then we'll need a whole hatchery's worth you will take that off because you guys didn't have a pattern and we'll also add some of you guys I'm pretty sure that's the right skin I'm pretty sure they were more of a grayish color eh. What's wrong with blue? And we will definitely make sure that they are not weak. 
we need strong stego so two of you two of you and then he fit of course not so okay this is weird why can we not have um, more modification abilities on some of these ones i know there's limits in like challenge mode because of like the defects but like it says that i have only one, two, three, four, six uh, modification abilities on this. But when you get something like T-Rex or like any of the carnivores, you have like the max amount of modification capabilities, which is a little annoying in my opinion, especially it's creating the same issue that we had in the first game. You can't modify the herbivores as much as the carnivores, which again, Frontier, especially in Sandbox, change that. It's stupid and really frustrating, especially if you want to make Battle Royales, because... They do, you can get a chance of them being strong and weak in the traits, but if you want to guarantee it, you can't really do it as much as like a carnivore, which is annoying in my opinion. Alright, so how many? Six. So we'll have, uh, 12. We'll start with 12. And we'll, actually no, we'll have 14. Two of them will be Jurassic Park variants. Why? Because I said so. Alright, so we'll have some Jurassic Park ones. Alright, Stegosaurus. This is the six batch. Oh, they are all skittish. So skittish. Good, I got a defensive, but he is aggressive, so that's not great. He's gonna definitely attack. Strong and defensive, I like that. Social, this one's good. Skittish and docile. I like that skittish kind of definitely, um, it definitely, um, you know, contradicts the docile, because skittish means they're going to react a lot easier, but docile does not mean that. And defensive and social. So we've got, this guy is our best, 2.5 million, geez, I, I ought to start funding for dinosaurs if that's what it costs. And then we'll need four of you, we'll need ones that are, we'll definitely get you, definitely get you. And definitely get you. And is this one? No. Nothing. And this one. Sorry, you've got nothing. You've got just skittish, so we gotta go for you. It's just logic in this case. Alright, all six of you. I only saw one of them that, like, had all the traits. You, 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 you. Oh, and one strong defensive. And a lot of these strikes were defensive, that's good to see. And we need two of you, which of course we'll get ones that are good, so definitely you. And any others that are strong? Alright, so we'll get you. There you go. And we don't have another hatchery, do we? Right, I got rid of them. Alright, so while they're working, we can actually start working on the environment, which never mind, they're all done. Give me a minute, guys. Let me at least make the water or something. You need some water. All right, let's lower this down about here. Drop it a, a little more and we'll do. And we'll make this a big water spot because, you know, it's where all the herbivores going to drink. And we'll definitely take that out. And I think that's good. It's a nice watering hole. Then we'll... Sort of rocky it up. We'll start with the rock. Then touches outside, which we can use this version of the rock, because it's more crumbly rock than, like, the hard rock that this is. Taps around. Then we'll add some dirt, like, definitely some heavy dirt around here the edges in some spots and then a little over here and then we'll add patches in the middle and stuff to sort of break it up and there we go a little bit more actually over here and then we'll add some of their foliage can go here, so like definitely a lot of the thicker ones, so like definitely some spots where it will be like, you know, as if the water's enriching them right there. And then just for the ground fiber fans out there, we'll add some over here. And then, well, we can add the herbivores, which also will need um, a status check, which we'll actually need two. Jesus, this place is huge. 
And we'll add one more all the way on this side. And then you, since you've got nothing to do, you will go and check these. And we can go and get those stegels and trikes. Let's start with the stegels, because they're probably the more difficult ones to do. Also, I should probably work on my plesiosaurs, because I didn't actually finish them. By the way, how are the ichthyosaurs? Are they good? Well, no one's been eaten yet, so I, th I think they're good. Have you been secretly eating them and we don't know? Well, they're kind of like the compies, actually, I think, because... Aren't they? Because, like, if they get swallowed, they don't- you don't get a notification of dead dinosaur, they just are, well, dead. Alright, 34,000. 34, that's not how long it's gonna take to make them. Jesus, I'll be- everyone will be dead by then. Alright, so, let's continue on. We'll need definitely a foresty spot, which I'm gonna make the outline of this, like, right around here, definitely more forested. Don't want to show too much of, like, the other enclosures, like, right there is fine. That's m most of the forest. Then we'll have a plot of forest around here. Ranger t Ah, we might need a gate. That, that, that might do, guys. I, I apologize. How dare I not have a gate? The nerve of me. Hopefully you can find your way around there. Where are you going? Oh, boys. Whoever's gonna... No pseudoceratops are fighting, okay? Okay, I see. You wanna get nasty. Alright, let's add some plesiosaurus around here. Which, you know, I haven't been really using the scenery a lot for, um, these, which I'm planning on using it in other sandbox series, but just, I don't know, it just feels like I'm, I'm worried the game's gonna break if I use too much of it, but it should be fine. We'll have, like, one lone tree with a few little mini trees around them, like. Okay, they're, the hitbox are a little. Oh, you need ground fruit. Ah, ground fruit and ground fiber. Right, I should add that, so. Of course. Oh, I love the Stego calls. They're all awesome. And you need some ground fiber, which we'll use this one because it counts as both. So yeah, like this can be the more forested area, actually. Yeah, I like this area. All right, so spread it out there. Ugh. And... As soon as you guys start to spread out, you should be fine. Are they still coming out? Yes, they are. So they are taking their sweet time, unfortunately. Dead dinosaur. What? Dead? Oh, oh, yep. They, they've, they've begun. Hunted down by police source. Oh, God. Well, well, he'll be fine there. Oh, God. They kind of don't float really well, if I'm going to be honest, but... Ugh. Rough day, hasn't it been, Mr. Ichthyosaurs? Jeez, immediately in and he's already causing me troubles. Whoa, 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 hold the phone. Who was on 84? Missing... Missing sand and... Per oh. You need more... Why do you guys need so much prey? You got a bunch of meat and goats. Stop being so cranky, jeez. All right, there you go, you're happy. Now don't break out. He's got a damaged... Okay, that's weird to see on a damaged... Oh my god, everything is just... Mosasaurus, can you just do me a favor and go and eat them? P please? I regret putting them in there. All right, where are those Triceratops? Oh my god, is that the first one? Uh, speed it up. I need to find out how they are doing. No wonder it's taking ages and ages and ages because they're so slow. Alright, we got both of them. Let's add the both. 
13 seconds, which will be like two. And hold on, guys. Tea break. Have your sips of tea or for a cocoa. Fa oh, five stars. Hello. Celebrate with a cup of tea. <coughs> and choke on it, apparently. Ugh. They're beautiful. Lonely broken heart. All right, so you need ground fiber. Wait, does Stego need ground leaf or ground fiber? Oh, we don't even need ground leaf. Ah, that's awesome. But also bad, because then they're going to mix together. Police source has undiagnosed... Oh, God damn it. Those damn aquatics... Like... Even the Nasutoceratops are being rather calm right now. Like, only one or two are fighting at a time. And so far, they haven't had too much lacerations and stuff. Alright, go heal them up. So, realistically, what are we going to do next? We'll definitely... Well, actually, no, I know what we're doing. We're doing the, this whole section. So, oh my god, I can't believe we're almost done this, which... It feels like we've been doing this for so long, yet so short of a time, because there hasn't been that many episodes. Whoa, whoa, what's wrong with you guys? Missing force. You just need a little bit more trees. If you just spread out a little bit more... Well, actually, no. This Triceratops will... What the? Oh, for God's sake, they're fighting. And they need water. Well, I, I hate to be the bearer of obvious news, but you kind of need to go towards the water to drink it. Now, you better not be injured, are you? All right, 95. Calm down. Ow! Hey, cut it out, you two. I mean it. We'll name you Sarah. Now, don't die. Oh, I love the way they fight. It's awesome, though. Sarah! Oh, whoa! Oh, bring him down hard! 90%, 91. No injuries, no, like, critical... Are you guys... Oh, great. We got somebody's unhappy. Sarah! Alright, what are you still missing? Missing four still... God damn, you... Spread out! Get some trees! Sniff them! And go to the water! All right, there you go. That's enough trees. You'll be able to spread out there. And then water, just go a little bit further. You're at 3%. You can do it, guys. Now just... Oh, they are on the tipping point, actually. As long as you guys stay on this side of the pool, you'll be fine. God, that was a bad idea. All right, let's add another group of Apatosaurus. Let's go. Then we'll add more Stegos. This is where things will go... Well, actually, no, because I'll be turning combat off soon. I, I remember, right? I said that about the Cretaceous Cruise. Will it work? Oof. Rough times. Hunt down by plesiosaurs. Died of unknown cause. Hunted down by ichthyosaurs. Mosasaurus is like, I enjoy the... Oh, he's getting close to that plesiosaurus. I haven't seen this guy eat like them in so long. It's so weird. I remember the first time I saw it swallow a plesiosaurus. I was like, holy Jesus. Sweet fancy Moses. Oh, God, they're getting too close. Oh, no, they've they've combined territories. They're enraged. It's this damn Stega. We'll name you... Um... Harding... And we'll need to name one Lego My Stego. Lego. Space. Well, no, we'll just name this one Lego. Oh god, that Stego's like, he's going bold. Okay, why do we not have someone? Oh, it's because I haven't assigned. Oh, he's not even going to be able to. We'll need to send this one to, um, manage these two. Alright, there we go. Oh my god, the corpses are filling up in here. There's, I think we've only got, like, we've got three pleasers left. Well, that was quick. Oh, we might have one less. 
Who's it, who's it gonna be? Oh, nope, they're still alive. They just were having a little fuss up. Look how big the ichthyosaurus is in comparison. They weren't that big in walking with dinosaurs, were they? Maybe they were, just... Well, we never actually saw them together in walking with dinosaurs. You gotta think about that, Austin. Alright, two more apatosaurus ready. And we'll release... We'll actually release the apatosaurus next in here, and then I'm gonna have to end the episode. Also, I should start making the damn, um, pterosaurs. So, let's have additional bays and accelerate growth, which will turn it from, like, ten... Two seconds to one second. Alright, so we'll need to take off this. And short lived? Nah. Alright, so let's add. You guys can have six, so we'll do 12 of you guys. And then Tyrandons, for now, we'll need to add. I'm pretty sure this is the right to round on, but if not, well, then I'm going to have issues with the uh, needy. We're definitely turning that down. And then we'll turn that to base, and that should be good. And we can have three of you guys. Yes, yes, very good. And you know, oh my god, I cannot wait for Quetzalcoatlus. Like, the weird thing is, if you go into large, there's nothing, which means they, kn you know they're going to be adding Quetzalcoatlus, which... I don't even know, how will you be able to even fit a Quetzalcoatlus in here? Like, good god, it's gonna break... You're gonna need, like, an oversized hatchery. Oh my god, please let me... I swear to god, if they don't add Quetzalcoatlus in the game, I will riot. But, I think that's all the Stegos out. Let's add some Apatosaurus, and then we will end the video there, once they get here, of course. So we'll add one on each side. These guys can be the middle ground. They'll be like, hey, hey, Stegos, all of you guys, cut it out. Who's the Alpha? Unknown Stego. So we will name him, hmm, uh, we'll name you, um, What should I name him? Ah, oh, good, good choice. We'll name you. Um. Let's see. There, there. There we go. There's your name. It is Steve. Steve is the alpha and is also annoyed with ground fruit and ground fiber. How are you annoyed with that? You already had like a nut. All right, we'll add a little bit more, but you're reaching the limit there, man. All right, and then a little more fruit. What's wrong with some fruits? I'm more of a veggie person myself, depending on, well, depending on the fruits, but, you know, it's fine. And those Apatosaurus are out? Yep, let's add the other two. Da da da, and we've got five, what the hell is going on in there? Jiminy Christmas, I'm pretty sure the um, Apatosaurus are not going to be happy with the lack of forest here, but you know what? It's fine. If they don't like it, well, too bad. I'm turning off comf- I'm turning off that stuff later. Well, combat at least. Okay, so who's dead? Just all these guys? Ah, just all these guys. Seems reasonable. Murderous buggers. And also, we can demolish this, actually. We d we're not gonna add anything else. And what's in here? Oh, no, nothing. Wait, what? Oh my god, the packy! Well, not in Domus. It's funny, because it's actually one of the smaller sauropods for the mediums, actually. Like, at least in this game, for sure. But, how annoyed are you with me? Let's just be, be honest. Tall leaf and force. What do you mean, tall leaf? All this... Oh, you need tall leaf, not tall fiber. Right. God damn it. 
You're gonna be my bugger. We'll add some over here. Ah, uh, yes. Add some over there, and then when they get there, they'll be fine. And forest... Well, forest isn't too bad. They just need to spread out over here. And they're not even reading all this for us, so they should actually be fine when they start spreading out. But for now, we'll, we'll just leave them be. They'll be fine. But I think, guys, we are going to end this with some corpses lying about. Hold on. Let's actually check. Has the Mosaurus even eaten anyone? Like, let's see. Let's be honest. No, it's a pacifist. Ah, I see. Being very humble, I see, Mr. Mosasaurus. Waiting for some people that you'll never get. I understand. Well, you're not going to get them. And you're not even going to get Indominus Rex because you can't attack them. But, you know, well, I respect your pacifism. I respect it. But, guys, we're going to end it here on a five-star Jurassic World. Successfully, our first playthrough in the PS5. In the next video, we'll add the Pterodons and stuff. We'll, they'll be ready to release and stuff. And we'll work on the Cretaceous Cruise, the Gallimimus Valley, and maybe even more. But until then, guys, we are almost done Jurassic World. Probably two to three episodes left. Low health. Where is it? As long as it's not in the lagoon. It's in the lagoon, so it doesn't matter. They're gonna, it's gonna die anyway, but if you've enjoyed this video, guys, I leave you with a very full Main Street and stuff. Nobody's sitting out with my stuff. Come on, guys, you can have some margaritas. Well, actually, no, that's on this side. Nobody's gonna get my margaritas, or it says boba tea, which actually, wait, did I name one of them? I remember naming something. Nope, I did not name it. All right, we will name this, to end it here, we will name this... No longer will it just be Boba. We will name it the Boba the Boba Fett. There you go. We've got the Boba Fett here. Come get your Boba Fett drinks here. We got Blue Milk, uh, Tatooine Sun. Oh, God, I can't remember any of the Tatooine drinks at the Tatooine bar. I only remember those two. But, if you've enjoyed this video, I would appreciate the like, and in the next one, guys, who knows what we'll be doing, maybe things will go even more chaotic, and until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye bye